Good evening, everybody. This is Papa TV. We are giving the round one coverage of the finals in the A division for the Louisville Pinball Arcade Exposition. My name is John Replogo. I'm here surrounded with three other great announcers tonight, and Doug Polka is uh, doing the production behind all the fancy new equipment. Pete Hendricks is uh, to my far left. Hi, John. Hey, good evening, Pete. Funky Fred Richardson is hey John. next to me. Hey. And uh, my old compatriot in battle, Brian Tessier, is to my right. Hey. Yay. So uh, we're about to get started. Uh, Mark Steinman uh, is calling out the groups and they're picking machines. So, Pete, why don't you give us the situation? We're playing the what round here? This would be the first round. It's the people seated 9 through 24. Uh, we'll be doing Papa style finals tonight. Uh, people that survive tonight will be moving on to the round of 16, which will be played tomorrow morning. But we're at a point where a lot of these players have been qualifying all day and it'll be interesting to see how much fatigue comes into play if starting finals immediately after qualifying. Okay. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I would actually say a lot of players are gonna be pretty fresh. Um, um, it, or shouldn't I, not, maybe not fresh, but maybe the proper term would be warmed up. I mean, I think what's going to be nice here is you're going to see people not have to sit and wait as long as they were during qualifying. They're going to be able to play in their four-player groups. They're going to get up there. They're going to get a little more of a rhythm. Uh, I think they're going to enjoy it a lot more, and I think we're going to see better games out of people, to be honest. be interesting to see what everyone chooses here. Well, I see Whitewater being powered up. Um, I see attack from Mars being powered up, as well as the Walking Dead. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see, have four games going. I don't uh, have any particular group that I want to follow, but uh, do you guys have anything you uh, would love to see? Uh, let's let's go with this uh, Whitewater group. It's Chris Basler, Evan Bingham, Josh Noble, and Mahesh Murthy. Mahesh just survived a tiebreaker to make it into the finals. Him, Chris Stevens, and Tim Caro had a two spot three-player tiebreaker on Space Station and Mahesh squeaked through. That was a little bit of a fumble there by Chris. Maybe uh, the round the round one finals jitters, I would say. A little bit of jitters going on there. A couple right. things about this whitewater, uh, a few modifications. I remember uh, we've got the kickback is disabled. So therefore, not only does it start, uh, it's not going when you start, you cannot qualify it with the three red target bank as well. So brings a little bit of a challenge into this game. You can still use the three red target bank to spot a hazard, but Correct. It, uh, the main problem in a tournament like this is actually play time for tournament directors. And uh, this game is notorious for being a long player. So Amen. I think that was a great idea to uh, adjust it down. And we'll see how the players are handling this kick out. I found that uh, what Mahesh is doing right here it seemed to be the safest play. He would pounce over and an easy trap. But oh, yeah. oh my Big goodness! Move. Big move! He got away with that. Well, I don't believe it. <laughs> That's what they say. If you don't try, you don't get to save it, right? There was nothing to lose there. He's not like, even let, he's not even pausing. He's going right into uh, launching the ball. That's interesting. I think I would have given that about 30 minutes to cool down. Yeah. <laughs> Well, he'll still have a second here if he makes the shot. Uh, mm -hmm. Let it wear a cool down before starting the Whirlpool Challenge. This is a big opportunity for points here. With that controllable kick out, you can get into a rhythm of one ball up the middle and time it so that they're s separated. And just like he did there, well, he didn't trap up the second one and paid for it. But you can always hold it on that left flipper as well. And try and pop it up center with the right flipper. Yeah, the, the main area of uh, concentration should be getting that first ball under control. If you miss the whirlpool, it's coming down to the right flipper and for an easy shot up the middle and you can keep yourself in rhythm. I actually don't mind the fact that he was gonna play two at once. Um, just because of the fact that that kick out is so nice when you hold up the flipper, but then you can't ha you need both flippers free. Yep. Yeah, Feeds so you can't trap, you can keep one ball trapped on the flipper the whole time. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess you could 
try to do a quick drop catch out of there, but well, that's a higher risk move because yeah. it involves proficiency. And in a tournament situation like this, you uh, better to be safe than sorry. No, he wasn't saving that one. Saw nope. that coming back. But a decent start there. He lit, uh, her collected his first lock and 18 million. Yeah, I bet you he wants that Whirlpool Challenge back, though. Yeah, Absolutely. Yes. Now stepping up is Josh Noble, and I don't know much about Josh. Any of you guys? Um, not familiar. It's good enough that he qualified for the top 24 in a circuit event. That much I'm pretty sure of. I recognize him from a couple events last year. I want to say it might have been uh, Oklahoma and Texas I saw him in. Yeah, we'll see if we can get some information about Josh. And he, Josh starts up the Whirlpool Challenge. So, Brian, um, I know you've uh, played a lot of whitewater in your day. Um, what's the uh, what's the point progression and strategy going through in a Whirlpool Challenge? Uh, the Whirlpool Challenge um, starts, um, got a five million point shot, and it goes up uh, a million each time you make a, sh two million each time you make um, the Whirlpool shot with the upper flipper uh, during the multi-ball. And uh, I know there's a completion bonus if you get... If you get uh, five of them, I believe that you get um, 25? Yeah, it's a 20 million completion bonus. Oh, 20 bonus. million completion, okay. So... Uh, okay, we got uh, Josh's information up here. He's from Columbia. Um, I presume Missouri. Uh, his uh, current rank is uh, 412. He's ranked 412 right now. So that's a heck of a so him he's and, in a heck of a place right now for that kind of ranking. So him yeah. and Chris will be very familiar with each other. Mm -hmm. Well, he steps he steps away with currently the most points after one ball. So that's where you want to be. Usually, the most person with the most points wins. <laughs> Next up, Evan Bingham from Ohio. I think Evan's afraid. Oh, nope, he's not. There he goes. Evan is a very talented player who's a... Uh, he's come a long way in a very short period of time, it seems. Well, he put up a run at Expo two years ago that he just walked up and played like five games and was qualified. <laughs> it was amazing. Won a circuit event last year as well in Michigan. Is that correct? Yes. yes. Hmm. Right after Papa. Yeah, he had a dilemma. He's like, should I defend my Michigan title or head to Papa? I'm not sure what he decided, but sometimes work schedules uh, make it difficult to make it to all these events, and you have to pick and choose your battles. No, uh, you just, just got to stop working and just become a full-time professional pinball player. And for those wondering, uh, it was uh, pinball at the zoo, I believe, that uh, he won. Yes. And uh, he's currently ranked 104th right now. I'm gonna, I think going upwards. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that would be a trending upwards. <laughs> He's got a nice yeah. rhythm going here on the Whirlpool. When he broke into the top 100, uh, joking with him, it's like once you're there, it's a lot, a lot harder to stay there, but this should put him back in it. He's doing that rhythm that I uh, was hoping to see Mahesh get into. Ooh. Ooh. One more. I don't think there's going to be. Oh, yeah. Maybe it. There's always a little last second one if you have the ball in the lock. Correct. Seems. Now, once you guys are through this port, uh, what is your next move? Just keep grinding out the boulders? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Because you'll get your lock qualifiers by trying to go up that center shot. So try and complete your boulders, get through those, move your rafts up. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, if you're a highly accurate player, you're instead of just trying to regularly get it in the no way out shot you're actually trying to graze it every single time you go through there you graze a lock target get it in the lock yep would you ever be daring and try to shoot that left loop and get it into the pop bumper so they get to the five times of scoring much quicker Ooh, that's a pretty big risk right there anything going in those pop bumpers comes out kind of dangerous mm -hmm. i mean i've done it before but only when i was feeling absolutely horrible about making the upper shots and I don't think they're that hard on this particular machine. It's, yeah, it's still early, and but it could put a lot of pressure on the other players. Amen. I'd say put a lot of pressure on the other players by just cleaning out all the uh, whirlpool locks by not making a risky shot. 
Now that's one uh, issue this game has had, the ball getting caught in the um, whirlpool or whatever you want to call that left ramp. It can throw off your rhythm a little bit during multi balls. It doesn't really get stuck there, though. It just sort of uh, hangs just out for slows a down. And yeah, if you're doing a timing pattern, though, that would certainly uh, mess things up. Definitely throw you off. That lock shot's pretty early on the right flipper here. Dead center. Catch. That one had enough strength to go all the way around. That almost uh, came out and did something horrible. All right, he gets another raft, so that's going to increase his value of his jackpots. Next one up is Mystery, unless he uh, hits a bumper. Backhands it. He's got, what, two locks qualified now? Correct. And neither target hit yet for his third lock. Correct. Right, so, but he has uh, what I would call the, I'm starting to think about this setup now. You know, All things right. are starting to get close. Get your mystery. Okay, he's got one lock target. Ooh, nice live catch. There you go. Backhand and clean. Try and get your 5X. John, how do they make that ball stick on the flipper like that? It's It's got to be magic. <laughs> it must be. I think be. Gary Stern called it magic. Well, this will be 5 million points in Correct. tournament mode. No, I thought it was a mystery, but Pete knew what the answer was. <laughs> Uh oh. There we go. Now, oh, oh look wow. at him. He's going for it. He he shot the ramp on purpose. I don't know. Yeah. I think I would. Uh, you, I would take the multi ball. Yeah, I'd just and take that multi ball. Take, yeah. take the multi ball. He's got his uh, jackpot well, build up a little bit. What's he. Uh, I believe he's at going to be at 18 million multiplied, if I'm right. Strike one. There. Oh, oh, that's, a, that's mm, the worst possible over. outcome. Okay, yeah. but. You can still grind uh, for singles. And uh, the all, for those who aren't uh, familiar, the the strategy is to uh, shoot all three balls as they come out up the whirlpool ramp for a single, double, and triple jackpot. Yeah, nothing quite as disheartening as the shot that goes part way up and then comes back because it's going to block the path of the follow-up ball as well. Yes, sir. But that was a wise move there, getting the restart. the restart. Now, can you get a double on your restart? No. no. Okay. Nobody's going to get a free shot at it, and there it is. 18, 18 million. million. Oh, nice. wow. That was a heck of a move. Look at that. Shoot the right one. Hold the left. Hmm. Is he thinking about shooting the... Uh, interesting. Huh. Can he stage this? He's trying uh, to. I like it. He was playing with his food. <laughs> you know, whatever you want to call it, John. I, it was a bold play. Now he's going to try a little more traditional way. Uh, the ball just did not want to stay on the flipper. Evan's actually playing really well, except for the fact that he didn't do anything with that molly ball. Mm -hmm. but Look, one jackpot. Here's our five times the play field. Looks like he just needs the ramp for a, well, maybe uh, the right loop as well. We can't see that from the overhead camera, but still a lot of potential for points here. Advancing the raft, yes. Yep. Is he gonna go for multi-millions? Yes, he is. Oh, Ooh. man. Oh, he was a little early. Now he's a, oh, that was a slap save and a beauty. Oh my wow, goodness. Wow, that's rough. How quickly that counter counts down. Yes, it does. But he's back to start again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Which whirlpool. brings us to Whirlpool Challenge if he can get back to it. And there's nothing wrong with going through the Whirlpool a couple times in one ball. Nobody no, minds. no, not nothing at all. wrong with that at all. He's just putting distance on the other players who have already played their first ball. So Yeah, it doesn't get any harder to start the modes. So you might as well do them right everybody else is you know like we just finished our whirlpool challenge evan's <laughs> like i just finished my whirlpool challenge and i'm <laughs> starting my second oh he misses his uh free shot a little bit of the, juggling the progress doesn't carry over from his first one it starts back at the five million it's always a fresh slate 
if you notice. Oh, it didn't bounce over clean. Uh-oh, it's changed. Oh. Oh, my goodness. He's juggling. That's it. Nope. Yeah, yep. that's it. Okay. But on a very impressive nice first ball, ball one. Lots of love from the audience. You can see they're applauding everywhere. Yep. Some standing room only back there. And Chris steps up for ball two. Would this change your uh, strategy now that you saw that you know somebody has a you know a hundred and what hundred mid hundreds? No, uh, based on the on the ball that he had, um, he still has the whole game open to him. He hasn't had a multi ball yet. He's uh, starting his whirlpool challenge now. I would just stay on course um, and hope that you can uh, do better on the multi ball than uh, player four did. Yeah, this will make the decision for him. Ouch. Oh, my. Seen plenty of those this weekend. He's got two locks lit, though. Two out of three. Really, the only strategy you're taking a look at, as far as I'm concerned, for a hard decision is whether or not to go after that 5X before you start your multi-ball. That's kind of a game changer there. If it's there and it's available, you can go for it. If not, just play your multi-ball. Hope you get your first three, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Set your value high. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, I think the number one priority when you're looking at a five times play field is multi-ball. Followed probably very closely by how close you are to Bigfoot Hot Foot. Which, ah, which is a, sure. a, a mode that you don't see in tournament play too often, but it's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we mentioned uh, Tim Caro uh, in the tiebreaker. He got to the tiebreaker by essentially doing that. He had five times going, and he just started hot foot and it hit the last targets and then drained. But just you know, getting a chance nice. at one hot foot, well, a difference from being in a tiebreaker and being playing right now. So Chris hit his first two jackpots, got a single and a double value on those, which sets your value for the rest of the multi-ball. So he's locked in at 28? No, 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 because he only has a base value uh, of, uh, of 14. So, oh, it's which that would was be just a half second late. I can't believe he didn't get credit there. Yeah, I'm sorry, Brian, you were right. Math. Math. I was right. Numbers are hard. <laughs> Mark the date. Good thing that doesn't come into play in pinball too often. I disagree. <laughs> now for the second multi ball, you have to hit each of the targets twice, correct? That is correct. So you'll see that they're both blinking, which means he's hit each of them once. Yep. Yeah, I, I always say in pinball, you blind people with science, but you beat them with math. <laughs> so. Uh, That explains everything. Poetry in motion. Point scoring on these groups, is it uh, four, two, one, zero then? Yes. Correct. All right. And I assume they're playing three games, three game match? Yeah, three game match. Um, the top two in each group will move on. To tomorrow's and, play. And it doesn't matter what the scores in the other player, in the other groups are, it's just one group playing Within against. your group. Correct. Right. Mahay stepping up, two locks ready. He right. did lock some balls on his first ball, but because they were cleared out by Evan's multi ball, or uh, Chris's multi ball, he'll have to relock him again. But it's a pretty it's, easy shot. It's usually not as bad as it sounds. Not on this game, it's not too bad. Like I said, on the. On the fly, that feed to lock is pretty early. Looks like he's going for the ramp, though. Yeah, taking the multi million points, building it up. Sure. Starts at two and then goes up a million each time. All right, all three of his locks are qualified. He's got to get that ball under control, and that's the best way to do it. Lock First it in a hole. Put it away for a second. He's also got a whirlpool lit. Looks like it's extra ball. And where does that get you in this game? Five mil? Nothing. nothing. Absolutely, Absolutely nothing. nothing. Your prize. <laughs> wow. Uh, 
I always love that animation. You know, the the, 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 the raft going into the cave. Oh, yeah. And the guy laughing. Yeah, good, good new control. And, you know, is he going to take it or is he thinking about getting funky here? I think he's thinking. Nah. No. You no. Know, he, he took it. I, I agree. I will say that lock was holding really nice all weekend, though. None of those random weird rollouts. It is possible. I did see some of them, but it's not many. No. There's one and one. Oh! oh. oh. oh wow. my goodness. Everybody out of the pool. Yes, sir. I believe it did say bounce back on the graphic. As yeah. Well. <laughs> It bounced, Ouch. it bounced back into the trough. Oh. All right, Josh is up. Mm. Are those bagpipes playing in the background? I, I hear that. I'm not sure. Uh, the Louisville Arcade Expo has lots of live music going on and uh, some other stuff, so you might hear plenty of background noise that's interesting, to say the least. Barry, this is an awesome show. What's he got? Man, Man over. overboard. This is a hurry up. Starts at 20 mil. And goes down to three. I like to hit that center loop there. What's that one called? Uh, Disaster drop. Disaster drop. Typically, we'll give it to you each time. And the, uh, the countdown does stop um, when the ball's uh, in a hole. However, it's going to bleed out here a bit while it uh, rolls off the plastic. Good slap there. That uh, was often a death shot. And the left ramp is, is actually fairly difficult right. on this particular uh, white water. Uh, it looks like this is going to uh, lead yeah. out. Lost another yeah. one. However, he <laughs> did hit lo a few log targets in there. He has two lit, and he's just the right one away from three. Okay. I w did he get credit for that during, or was that from before? Yeah, um, it, it will give you credit. Uh, you just can't lock the balls during it. Correct. Uh, you can qualify. Uh, nice. That's good. very interesting. Evan steps up to ball two, player four with the lead. See how he follows up his uh, very good first ball here. Back to the grind, get those boulders. Man overboard. Yes, sir. Head for the blinking light. Typically the left orbit. He's got left ramp and possibly the right orbit. Uh, I would imagine the right orbit. Correct. Well, he's, nah, he's only at the six, uh, the six million ramps. That's probably just the left ramp. Only the one target. He's not going to time it out. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> well, no, actually, he's not going to time it out because it's going to stop at some correct. point. <laughs> he's going to have to make a shot at something. Yep. You yep. have to hit a switch. Uh, uh, he's, he's, he's looking, thinking about hot foot. Hot foot and one. He sees that one empty target. Maybe he's looking for his name. Uh, yeah, timed it out. Interesting. I think he did. Wow. Oh. oh, and that's that's uh, what you get for hitting a lock target. Yeah, that's at least right where I was going with that, John. <laughs> Honestly, that ball, if it does feed all the way up to the top, it does a nice roller. If you just hold the left flipper up, it goes right over the right flipper really nicely. No sense in trying to early pop that lock shot. Okay, and Chris steps up for ball three. You're right, it bounced right over. Yep. If it goes all the way around. What's he got lit for his boulder? Kind of tough. It looks like it might be uh, advanced raft, I think. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Just got to take a deep breath, walk up there, and know you got to grind. It's going to be a while. Take some time, earn some points. Yep, nope, here's the mystery. The five oh, okay. million. Okay, so it was one more. So now he's lit for his five times. The five X is the one that's blinking there. Yep. 
He's on his second set of locks, as you can see that they're blinking right now, so he needs to hit each one one more time to qualify his second lock. I don't think that that's going to be a, a major concern for players. I mean, unless you just happen to get lucky and get close. A little tip move there to get make sure the ball got over to the other flipper. That's a that that's nice. advanced skill there, folks. You know, Chris was a pop finalist two years ago. Yes, he was. Or, I'm sorry, semi-finalist. <laughs> and uh, the only, he might have gone farther than that, but he uh, was forced to bow out in the uh, semi-final oh, That's right, round. he had to leave early, didn't he? I remember that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Here's the five times. He <laughs> has at least two shots for the advance. No, it would be two because he's yep. at the six, so. That's that was the drop. Yep. So that spots one, and the ramp will advance. Uh, I'm not sure if he was trying to be guessed or just missed, but there's nice. there it oh, is. It didn't, it didn't give it, give it to him. It, it was too slow. Too much it, time between the it, sensors. It's just getting hung up on. So it's something's taking the momentum out of that ball when it goes up there. That one should there be go. good. There it is. Fifty, 50 million. million. That yeah. is big points when the uh, yeah. That was well used. Yep. Mm -hmm. Make the most of the situation. He took what was available. Lemonade, folks. Lemonade. And that uh, puts him in the lead. All right. Mahesh steps up for his final ball. And he's in really in grind mode here. Oh. He's got no locks qualified. Well, he has over. the two uh, boulders to get to the five times. Mm. He might be able to set up some advanced graphs before that point. And he's had his first multi-ball already, correct? Yes. Uh, are we sure about that? Did he have one? Yes. Okay. All right. Pete's on it. Uh, just because I saw that right target solid. Well, when he hits the left target, we'll know for sure, but I'm, I'm almost certain he did. That was a nice drop catch into a shot. Yep, yep there it is. You Blanket. are correct, sir. Whoa. Nice save. Easy, Don. You got it. Oh, my goodness. There's a danger. A danger, but... Uh, Lock the ball. Whatever. I mean, gosh. All right. Not a chance to take a breath there, no, though, because uh, right already in. went in the lock, so mm -hmm. I had to kick it out. Five no mystery. And he is set up for his 5X now. All right, so... Uh-oh, that's, that's... Oh, he should have had that. I don't know. I mean, that... I mean, I'm going to say yes, but... It certainly wasn't an easy move. No, not at all. Kind of wonder why none of the other groups are playing right now. I wonder if they're... They're all finished. Water. They're all finished, and... Uh, you know, the game about water is actually about people taking an axe to a tree. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I've heard that saying before. All right, Josh has got some wood to chop here. He's currently in last place with 38 mil. Mm -hmm. He's chasing 211 or more. Back in that shot. Uh, oh, just trying to relax. Oh here my goodness, and... double danger. It's called playing tight. Yes, it is. All right. Well, I don't have the new site memorized. If you have been following the standings online, there is a link to the finals br bracket on that page as well. Um, PB, what was it? PB. <laughs> yeah. oh, I guess I could pull out my. Oh, no, because that was for registering, so. It's pbchallenge.net. Okay. There it is. All right, two down, one more to go. Big deep breath. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. It's lit and ready to go. That was a nice dead bounce is. in a pressure situation. All right, let's play some multi-ball. Josh is hoping to shoot all three of his first shots up that round mm -hmm. for three times. Jackpot. It's hoping to shoot one up the ramp. <laughs> oh, man. And now's a good time to mention the restart is in the uh, lock cavern as well. And now. No. Thanks, Fred. <laughs> wow. Gosh, that was, that was just painful. <laughs> All right. 
Yeah. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, why was there a restart? Did, did, he get a, a, did he get a jackpot there that I didn't see? He must have. He must have, yeah. I, oh. oh, my goodness. His points would indicate no that he did not. I wonder why there was no restart on that. Mm. Okay, Josh can take last on that. Somebody who's smarter than me can probably answer that question. Mahesh takes third, and now it's a battle for first. Evan looking for about 76 million points. Every journey starts with one whirlpool. And one extra ball. You get nothing. So 76 million, let me see. I'd like to think that he doesn't get anything. He gets the experience of making the shots. You know what I'd like to see him do here? Hot foot out. Hot foot for the win, huh? John Secret. You've heard it here first, folks. It's all it's, about the hot foot. It's, it's one target away. It's sitting there. Right to the uh, right yep. side of the play field there. Glance it right there with your left flipper. I think he's just locked mm -hmm. in on those boulders there. Sure. This would be a time, though. This would be one of those rare times where if he gets the two more awards and gets the five times play field, he would want to time it out. Time it out. To get Isn't to Whirlpool. The, to get to Whirlpool Challenge to get the rest of the points. Wow. Oh, it depends. I mean, if he only has one more shot to the for a raft, uh, he's already up to the uh, 10 million point or 12 million point raft. So that That's would be a 60, 60 million, million point, point shot. shot. Right. Mm. But then again, that left ramp is being... Mm -hmm. Stickly. He gets his uh, yeah. five million uh, points. It, it, be aware too, um, if his kickback is, um, if he hasn't used the fake kickback, the three right targets will accomplish the same thing. Now he still needs the left loop as well for advanced wrap, so. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh. All right. It's a good game Kevin by Evan getting second, second place. Mm-hmm. So Chris comes back to take first. He's going to get four points out of that game. Evan will take second. Mahesh Murthy will take third, and uh, he will get one point out of that game. And uh, Josh will unfortunately uh, not have any points after that first game. In other groups, on The Walking Dead, Andrew Rosa was the winner. Chris Warren took second. Chris Stevens third. And Sanjay Shaw fourth. Pretty close battle there on that one between second, third, and fourth. Yes. Uh, match three as it loads up here. Uh, Brian Shepard with the win. Chris Compton second. Dominic Kasich third. And Darren Kamnitzer fourth on attack for Mars. And in our last group. Um, Jason Werdrick was the winner, Adam McKinney second, Timmy Street third, and DJ Real fourth on Indy 500. Pretty close game there for first and second. Jason 252 to Adams 239. Jason does own an Indy 500. Replay FX coming up July 27th through the 30th. We'll hope to see you there. as we're waiting to see what uh, the uh, next groups are picking. Yeah, I was trying to get it some heads, advanced heads up to see what uh, yeah, It looks like we'll be going up. to Indy 500 if we stick with the same group, yep. Indianapolis 500. It's race day, folks. All you need is your seat to watch the high intensity octane. <laughs> and he uh, Chris starts off with uh, go nice. for the pole immediately. Dueling ramps right into the turbo. Is this a cheat mode? Yes, it is. And he does not take the cheat. Uh, what we're talking about, um, if you hit the launch button um, multiple times during certain modes, it'll spot you progress. He could have used that once for, well, in his case, the O and 5 million points. One thing on this game I found very difficult this tournament was uh, left loop turbo combo. Oh, yeah. Just was not dropping. I think I might have hit it once out of about 25 tries. Yeah, it's... Just wasn't going in there. It's just like oh, the upper flipper doesn't fire. Sorry. have quite enough juice to make yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, the lock shot's not hard. It's not too bad. But on the fly from that left loop... Mm. 
just didn't want to go. That was a nice save. Nice dig. He's really fighting with this ball here. Yeah. Hell yeah, he is. One of my favorite things to do on here is just send it straight up to center. Go start your mode. Boom. There we go. I should going to take a little breath on that one. No, I think you needed a break after that. That was some yeah. hard-fought work. Unfortunately, he gets one of the lesser Weaker modes. modes. Oh, you man. hope that you start on, like, caution or one of the better ones, but or even three-times play field. Turbo boost multi ball. Yeah. Best one to start with as far as I'm concerned. Yes. One more than the uh, turbo is a guaranteed multi ball. I've heard that somewhere before. Your no. Bobby Unzer is amazing. I patent that stuff. <laughs> that was a good impression, I gotta say. People do call me Mr. NASCAR. Here we go. We're gonna start a little bit of multi ball. <laughs> Object here, if you want to drop that ball into the lock hole. Speaking of NASCAR, should we start the rumor that that is one of the Papa A games? Oh, God. Sure. You, you like starting rumors about bad and untrue stuff, Pete. <laughs> When's the last time you've seen it in a uh, Papa bank? I would have to oh. ask a higher power about that, but there's probably a reason for that. NASCAR not a good game well i mean it's not horrible but yeah. the the problem is reliability and that uh the car that pops up in the middle of the play field has with some long-term reliability issues for tournaments all right and it's gonna be the end of that yeah. multi -ball. mahesh played with his food a bit there he did um made the most out of having a rough start though Okay. Oh, that one, that one we can only say is, uh, that was a player error. And he had pit stop lit too. Does that go away? I think it does. Okay. Unfortunately. Do you want to hit that left loop to uh, light your lock? First time through, it lights both of them. Second time through, you got to hit it one time each. Use this ball saver. Yeah, but unfortunately, he doesn't have a lit lock to shoot it at. Now he does. Yep. He was close. Yeah. Very close on that. Nice shot. Safe yeah. shot up the middle. Wow, I wasn't even thinking to shoot that shot. From the right flipper, even. <laughs> Slow it down. and On this mode, you want to shoot the uh, right loop. Get yourself some garage doors. That was a nice nudge. It sure was. Don't need to make it go in the in lane when it just decides to come back in the center for you. Uh oh. oh. That was the right idea, but a little <laughs> yeah. too far. Yeah, a little bit too much of an extension. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. I believe Evan is up last, correct? Yep, there, there he, he comes. Let's see if he can get off to a big start like he did in his uh, first game. Nice to come out of that first ball with a two, two fifty, three hundred mil. Yep, sure. That's I mean, great start. Uh, I think it would be nice to come out of that ball, first ball, you know, obviously with the bigger points. But if you, even if you can't get that, you want to get to the point where you're comfortable on now, the machine. He, so. Your locks are qualified. Yeah, and, or if, if you're, you're just like, I can make these shots. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of his decision there to forego going for the skill shot uh, or the uh, lock and going for the right ramp and go for the pole? Mm. He also I, didn't use up his um, or the three one. Looks like it was a costly mistake. Coming back, ball save. Now Chris is one ball locked and his next uh, mode would there be super go. jets, which would be good with my oh. Never got a chance to get under control. Historically, Indy 500 plays very fast. It's an extremely fast game. A lot of it's right in your face. But once you dial in those shots, if you can get the ramps down, get that center shot down, get your orbits down, uh, you can score some big points. Well, that answers one question. The pit stop is still lit. Okay, I was wrong. It's good to know. It's good mode, too. 
and he almost made that combo as well. So let me ask you a question. When you get the, you start the pit stop, hurry up, mm -hmm. and you're going for the, there's a countdown afterwards, and, Correct. and then after that countdown's over, whether you collect it or not, you get a two ball multi ball. Right. If you get it on a cradle on a flipper, do you actually shoot for it? Or do you just. You mean for the jackpots that you get? No, once it yeah, I mean, yeah, do you shoot to try to start, start it with the extra jackpots, or do you wait so you can get the ball saver? No, oh, no, I take that automatic feed, I pass it over to left flipper and send it up that right ramp. Well, uh, I think what he's asking is, uh, as the timer goes on, there's fewer and fewer jackpots. That you, uh, if you start it with four jackpots, you have to clear all four of them. Whereas if you start it with one jackpot, you can complete, repeat that one over and over. Sure. And I could be wrong. I think the, the one is the left loop when it times out. Mm. That's Sounds correct. right. Yep. Okay. So it, um, I do attempt to do that, let it time out, but... Um, it also depends uh, if I'm in a good flow. I may take it a little earlier because while all that time that a ball is trapped up, you can lose your rhythm. And Well, and again, it's your base value as well. Yes. The sooner you hit it, the more it's worth. But like you said, there's more shots to clear out. Gosh, that all was... Right. That was a fast ball. I wanted to say that that was, that was a, really one of those drains that's really hard to predict. It's in an angle coming down at a weird angle from the side. I don't know if I would have been in. I didn't see it in time to get, that I would have given it a nudge. So I would have drained there also. The ones where you have to guess and sometimes you guess right, but. Right. I mean, I mean, I think the safest thing in pinball is if you, ha if you don't know what's going to happen, don't do anything. But. Those are good words to live by, John. <laughs> if you don't know it, don't do anything? Well, yeah, because you know it's like when you're working on a game, you're doing maintenance, and you plunge the ball up and you just let it come down. You notice it'll hit the flippers, roll back up, and it seems to stay in play longer than if you were flailing at it with your flippers. That's right. Harry finally got his middle shot and secret mode. The Jets give neat stuff. There's neat stuff there. Oh my goodness, he's getting a lot of neat stuff. And his neat stuff is now over. Right, he only get one pass through there for that. Oh, That's really? Uh, yeah, that is it. correct. Jets only give neat stuff for a little while, and then the Jets get boring stuff for most of the rest of the game. Oh my goodness, wow. I blinked and, and that, that ball was a left. Fastball right down the center. All right, we're going into a third ball here, folks. Mr. Basler starting us off. He's got 23 mil. He doesn't waste any time. He's no, just, he's oh, he's kill boom. shot lock. Boom. It's just like I've been waiting to play for a while. Second one is right. Skill shot Ladies lock. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how you do that. Let's play multi ball. And that just doubled his score basically from when he started the ball. <laughs> Amen. 23 to 42. If he can get in a good rhythm of cross jackpots back and forth. We haven't even talked about the add a ball feature in the ja in the multi ball, which is. Oh, uh, let's start with the basics. Uh, sure. What are the jackpots? Each ramp, alternating after you hit the first two. After that, you want to go into the turbo lock. He's got one in there now. Put the second one in there. That's going to fire out his third ball again, that he already lost. Pretty unique feature. That was a good good decision. Oh, I would have dead flipped that, but that's all right. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't believe he got those both wow. back. Well done. Yeah. Now, the chance oh. to, for the out ball is time. Did you see it fired the other one out because he didn't get it in time? Correct. Right. But oh. until... I believe until you get the first super jackpot, though, you can get infinite out balls in the multi ball, which is a... Uh, yes. He, yeah, Pretty unique feature. I know, I know some top-rated players in the uh, world who will not go for that super jackpot just so they can continue Keep to get out balls. balls. Yeah. So Mahesh can do the bare minimum here. They get at least past Chris and earn that first point. Mm -hmm. Let's see how many super jets you can get. About 
gonna have to hit that left loop again to qualify his mm -hmm. second lock because this is his second multi-ball. Right ramp, pit stop. Mm. Oh, that was a good decision. Okay. I, and the reason is he's got, he needs uh, Super 15 jet. more jets for 30 million points. Yep. And the jets are giving even neat more stuff. neat stuff. Oh, that was some there neat stuff there. Oh, not yeah. lit. It's not lit, but now it is. Oh, oh. first combo. Loop turbo combo multi ball start. Boom. Mic drop. Drop to mic. <laughs> yeah, not literally, though. These yeah, are no, no, the these are expensive microphones. Sorry, you know. A nice uh, time crunch on this is send it up the center. Let it feed your pop bumpers. Gives you a little bit of time to make your shots. Hmm. It also allowed him to finish his uh, super jets there, 30 Correct. million. That was an interesting cradle separation. And, and when I say interesting, I mean like heart attack inducing. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, what oh a nice nudge. Okay, now pass it over. Yep. Oh, a little bit of a uh, spin on that ball. Yep. He's not going to have time. There he The other one comes back out. <laughs> oh, nice Whoa. nudge again. Left ramp. There we go. In the lock. What a beautiful oh. crossing over. Oh, my goodness. He's playing. Just on fire over here. He's playing aggressive. Yeah. It's paying off, it looks like. He's up to 372 now. Not a bad score. And he still has that pit stop lit. That he lit on ball one. Yeah. I think now would be the time. Amen. Here we go. Post pass. Nope. He's going to so try to get his locks lit again. <laughs> go with what works. <laughs> there there third go. one has to shoot the left there loop twice. Is. Okay, let's see how he plays this. I know he knows the rules. So, I think... I think I don't understand exactly what he's doing. He's timing it out. No, he's not. He's well, just shooting. Yeah, I mean, he, it's all right. That's he's not going to get the multi ball. No, I don't, he, I don't know what he was shooting there. I'm not sure. No. It didn't seem like he was shooting for the right ramp. He was just not trapping up. He was no. mm -hmm. trying to run out the clock, maybe while still having the ball in play. That's, oh. And that's it's not right. a wise decision, but nonetheless, the great ball by Mahesh, it puts him up around 400, 400. 435. So. Very nice. Josh currently stands in third place with 53 million. His first goal is past that 128. And this is a very important game for Josh, being that he took the zero in the first game. Yeah. Got to yeah. bounce back quick. In order to give himself a chance to make it out of this round, he really wants to. Oh, Ooh, he passed up right the past 20. 20. Still looking oh, for it. Oh, no. Well, he got some points out of that. <laughs> and the price is right It's like uh, saying you found the gum wrapper. Wow, it's almost man, a piece. <laughs> you're, a, you're a glasses half full type of guy, aren't you, Brian? <laughs> Always, John. <laughs> <laughs> well, that glass wasn't even close to half full. <laughs> <laughs> That glass was on the ground, shattered. And 100 points versus 20 mil. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. All right. And Josh will be bowing out of this round. Well. Best he can hope for is four points. There's always some miracle math method there. He would no. die for a second. No, he there, would there, need there. Evan to make uh, come yeah. back here. Actually, he would need Evan to either make the comeback or get basically nothing. Oh, yeah, there's that possibility, too. And then he would still have some... He would still need some luck in the order of finishing the last game. Yeah. True. Uh, while we're waiting, looking down the aisle, Adam McKinney's group's on Attack from Mars. Chris Warren's group's on Gold Die. Chris Compton's group's on Walking Dead. Other games that are available for picking include Atlantis, Space station johnny mnemonic atlantis the, the pause after space 
Yeah, which one is it? Shuttle. Shuttle station? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> we showed some coverage of Atlantis last night. It's uh, one of the first times I've ever seen it used in any sort of tournament. Yeah. It may or may not be one of the last. Um, it's a fun game. It is. I think it was an interesting tournament game. It has a couple software issues that need to be corrected that is for, correct. before Thanks. it could be used uh, in high level play. Hashtag where's the code, man? <laughs> That's it. Hashtag set my jackpot, please. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, we were, while we were watching the final hours uh, qualifying, there's the jackpot kept building and building. Oh. Got up to almost four million, and um, who collected? Alexander uh, Kazmarczyk uh, collected mm -hmm. it, and that was enough to get him into a buy position. Did he pass it? Yes. Oh. Heard to Josh. I'm sorry. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Beat by the bonus. So that will put Chris at six, Mahesh at five, Evan at three, and Josh will be bowling out with zero. All right. But, still uh, going to play the last game. Yeah. His play is still important to the other players. Amen. Congratulations to Josh, though, to making the final uh, finals in a tournament, uh, circuit event. It is a definite uh, accomplishment. So the Papa Circuit is a, a set of events uh, through, throughout the world, and it culminates in the Papa Circuit Final, which is a playoff that will be held in Carnegie, Pennsylvania, right outside of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, at the end of... Well, actually, in about a month period of time from now, April the, 5th, at the Popper World Championships. Hmm. We're watching some attack from Mars here. This is group. Um, I don't know what number. Yeah, group three. There we go. Um, it's Adam McKinney, McKinney. Jason Wordrick, Tim Street, and DJ. Jason had won the first game. Adam was second. Tim third, and DJ fourth. We're getting some serious vibration back yeah, there. Yeah, we are. Um, so we apologize. Mm -hmm. Adam is uh, already Shit. finished at 1.6 billion. Looks like uh, Jason just destroyed his first ship for 200 mil. And we got to start by destroying Martians somewhere. Yep. He uh, started in Italy. This uh, attack is set up with uh, the hard lock, so yep. you need. Uh, to light each lock. Six shots total for multi ball. One to light the lock, one to lock the ball. Well, that was three. And it's been my understanding that's the way people have been playing this game most of the weekend is just uh, multi ball, go for multi ball. And when you're done with that, go for multi ball. Saw quite a bit of uh, total annihilations happening. Oh, not quite enough to get around. This is ball three. All right, he's going to start his run here. Oh. Now he has an interesting option of yep. trying to be, get the three hurry ups going. Yeah, but the, that tractor his door is up. Yeah. Well, plus his door is up too. Uh, of course, if you got three hurry ups, I would take the five hundred million points. Amen. Right. He's going for that. He's. Uh, Jay, oh, anytime I watch Jason play this, it this is. is his approach. Well, while the billion's not in play right at the moment, uh, 500's still pretty good. There we go. It's ready. Uh-oh. Oh, what a tip there. Oh, oh, it didn't hit. Good control. He gets another shot at it. He's taking it. Oh, oh yeah. 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 There it is. Half a mil. 475. That's a That's nice low-hanging fruit. Take the lead. <laughs> right. A cool half a billion points for a shot, you know. Why not, right? You just want to start your attack wave, get that wall down before you go into multi-ball. That was so big. Look at the scores now. He yeah. is now in the lead by 100, 100, 100 million points. He has all kinds of potential here. Three right rams for total annihilation. Uh, one block. Here's a stroke of luck. Starting his uh, Martian qualify for multi-ball. He's got one bomb. He looks satisfied with that uh, yeah. Martian bomb popping up. Yes, I'm sure he is. Is he going to shoot for one more? There it is. Nice. 
All right, just needs, Still needs one. There, there it is. is. And oh, you know what? Saved his bomb. We're just going to pocket that bomb for another day. So I would, would you go for the total annihilation or try to kill a saucer? That uh, total annihilation. Yes, and then yes. Which, in, that, in which order? In that order. <laughs> okay. I would uh, try to destroy the saucer. You tried yep. the dirty pool. No, you just no. tried. Just but so I would go for the saucer first. We, yep, we talked too. about uh, cheating in other games tonight we, when we were watching in Indianapolis 500. Um, cheating in Attack from Mars is also good. Greed is good. Right. Okay. Jason's now up to 2.8. Just qualified his third lock. I do suggest he open up his attack. Oh. Right there we go. That's all right. He'll take that score. He, uh, he felt there was a lot left on the table for him, though. Well, close to four. Yeah, three. there might have been, but his play was uh, pretty good on that ball, and uh, he managed to. Uh, it's what I like to call intelligent play. He knew where the points were and collected them as they came up. Jason did take first place in his first game, so if he can lock this one down, that will automatically advance him to the next round. Even a second would be uh, pretty powerful. So. Amen. All right, upsets uh, Timothy Street. Is he one of your uh, Pittsburgh clan? Yeah, he's a um, uh, Alabama gentleman. Alabama. We're going to pull that up just to be certain. I want to say there was a player way back in the day, and his name was Tim Street, and he was an older gentleman. He had gray hair. Kind yes. of blowing my mind. If yes, I, th I, I think you're right. Yeah, if anybody remembers that, that was way back in the OG days. No, we don't actually have too much information on Tim, so... Um, oh, there should be. <laughs> believe right. he's from Alabama based on the uh, tournament rankings and his current state rankings. Okay, we, he's starting his first hurry up. We had information on Tim, but then we were told we couldn't share it. Uh, the FBI came in, and, you know, they said he's actually... Something about phone tapping. I don't uh, know I did. His dad came in and said... <laughs> oh. uh, Jeff's a real nice guy. Always comes out with Tim and Ooh. plays in these tournaments. All right. And we're. Tim is probably going to take last place, but there is a small possibility he could get a point out of this if DJ fails to uh, get anything. Do anything. Well, if I would actually. What would, what would you do here? I mean, in DJ's shoes. Well, again, get your wall well, down. Go for shifts. I mean, that's really the grind. Here. DJ got the zero in the last game, so the one point will do him no good. He has to get at least to the one point six. Yeah. Needs at least a second place on this. If, if he doesn't reach that point, this group is it's, essentially it's, done for the night. Mm, They'd so. be at the six six one one. Okay, and uh, we're gonna go. Um, I think we're gonna head to our original group that we were following. That they're getting ready for their uh, game three. And we'll give you a result of that uh, game as soon as it's over to let you know what happened there. Keep mm. that eye on attack. Uh, looks like third game here. We got a little Johnny Mnemonic, which was playing quite uh, quite tough this weekend, I would say. I didn't see a whole lot of really monster high scores. Tough to get in a rhythm on those ramps, which is pretty essential on this game. You want to be able to go back and forth, get some Yakuza, throw some spikes uh this is the papa johnny so it's the one with the rusty spinner so the spinner million strategy <laughs> is out of play slightly and uh we apologize for the glare on the uh play field we have little control over the lighting here obviously Mahesh just likes to you know move everything around before he gets up there and he just you know slides the camera <laughs> it's like I'm going to do some interior decoration here. But we do get a nice reflection of Mahesh's hair in the uh, glass. That's which... a nice head of hair he's got on there. Um, <laughs> nice nudge there. That was a good nudge. At this point, he has lock up the middle, and yep. the white triangles is part of his mode. You can backhand that right ramp. Whoa. I don't know if that was a flashback or... And uh, Doug's, <laughs> Doug using his powers. <laughs> Doug is using his magical powers to try to center the frame a little better for us Suddenly here. felt like I was back in college there, gentlemen. All right, let's uh, feed that fist. 
All right, here's a, a point where you need to pay attention. Since it's the first lock, it'll tell you where all the awards are. And what's he gonna claim? Smart. And I think we just entered high roll. Yeah, he's got two there. Very nice. He's gonna put that third one up on the top and do three in a row. And those uh, that left column right there happens to be the rollovers up top. It's a real good method for multi-ball play because you can let your ball strain, feed back up there, get your jackpots, holds the ball up top, keeps it busy. I was, man, I was interested in pinball, but now I just have now this. Now Zelda. <laughs> I now have this insane urge to stab an old man with a sword. I, I, <laughs> I'm dying to play <laughs> some Zelda right now, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, you might be hearing some background noise, which is some of the live entertainment that's happening here at the Louisville uh, Arcade Exposition. <laughs> This brings into play uh, the question of other people locking balls up in the matrix. So as we saw last ball, getting that one lock in that lower left-hand corner, that was someone else's lock there right above it. And right, so if somebody who locks a ball, it pulls a different ball out and just, you know, throws that back into play, which is sort of interesting. Huh. Because it can never have more than three up, or more than two at a time. The attack from Mars game did end. DJ ended up with 689, so that group is essentially done. Jay, no, 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 they're not. Uh, Jason's at eight, Adam's at four. So Jason's through. Okay. I thought they were flipped the first game. Uh, their final game is on Atlantis. Yeah, a little video mode going on here. Snarf, 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 and Snarf. They're not blue, so they're not Smurfs. The object here is to Snarf. Oh, I think he's going to get it. I think he's going to get it. It's four-dimensional oh, snarfing. wave two. Well, that would be two-dimensional snarfing, Two-dimensional, yeah. I can't imagine what four-dimensional snarfing would be like. Here, the boxes get a little more clever. Yeah, they do. I, a little more difficult to really snarf. Oh, yeah. They, they'll change direction more oh. randomly. <laughs> Split the snarf. Get up there. Oh, out of... Oh, oh. oh. The bonus time, he almost, <laughs> almost got it. Yeah, Still, it was 240 million points of snarfing. <laughs> and that's folk, That's right, folks. We're not saying anything dirty. Nope. Evan <laughs> Snarf just... Bingham. Well, you want to move those rollovers there, Evan, so you can get a multiplier? I mean, I don't remember anything about Snarf in the movie. Do you guys? I, mean, I don't. Now, uh, no, I, I don't. The as... one time I saw it. Only as Fred this one time? Just once. I think as, as Fred mentioned, the locks uh, coming out of the lock, that it's actually a benefit. It, instead of having the ball shot around the loop uh, mm -hmm. and having to control that, it's going to be fed into the lane, and it's a lot easier to control when it comes out of the pop bumpers in that lane to the right. There is a magnet on the hand which will grab that ball and take it out of the matrix. Drop it right in the middle. Oh, with no credit for the rollover either. Nope, it dropped it right in front of it. Oh, nice. nice nudge. That nudge. was a nudge of beauty. Oh, oh, that was a player error of defeat. Yeah. It's all right. Let's see what he comes out of that ball with. Ah, pretty close. All right. Ball two. Josh has honors. Playing for pride. Well, I thought the uh, word trick group was 6611. I can confirm that the Andrew Rosa, Chris Warren group is 6611. Those two will be moving on. Chris Stevens and Sanjay Shah will be eliminated. Uh, Chris Stevens not having a bad day altogether, though. He won the classics here earlier tonight. Very nice. Congratulations. Cetus. Uh, second place went to Fred Cochran. Third place, Zach Sharp. And fourth place went to DJ. Not a bad showing from the PPL. 
hashtag friends of the PPL. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh. You better make a gang sign after you say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It starts with a big C. <laughs> All right. Josh had a quick ball there on ball two. We'll let that thing settle down a bit before my hash steps up to it. Never mind. Pass was play. Oh, my goodness yeah. gracious. Woo. And uh, that and was very fast. If you're looking for long games of Johnny Mnemonic, wrong Johnny Mnemonic. Not this tournament, the, folks. This is not the machine that will give you that. When you're looking for long, detailed games of how to play a normal Johnny Mnemonic, uh, you're probably not going to see that here. Although, uh, Mr. Harmon put up, uh, I believe it was... It was 19 billion or something. Yeah, it was It was in the high... Uh, wow. He actually managed to get a Spitter Millions working, even with the rusty spinner that we've installed on this machine, which is impressive. 19.7 for Alex Harmon. Wow. And the next highest score is only like 6, six billion. So... That was Chris Bowsler with that score. And that 19 billion worth five points more for uh, Alex than Chris. Yeah. 10. Or 10, 10. yeah, all right. 190. 190, 85, 84. Math, it's hard. <sighs> Mahesh with a lot of good spike throwing here. He's uh, got he through the quick multi ball and oh. his bonus is now held. Oh no, but then he... Then he uh, oh, it's oh. still held. It just, he's not getting any of it this ball. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're gonna tilt, you might as well hold the bonus so you get the next ball. <laughs> Amen. Unless you really want to be effective, then you tilt that ball out too so you don't get bonus at all. <laughs> don't want any unfair advantage. Very strong showing this weekend, gentlemen. Got to mention, this uh, Louisville tournament heard a lot of positive things about it. I wanted to make my way out here, and uh, boy, the quality of folks that showed up. Uh, while they're waiting, the last group right now, Dominic has five, Brian Shepard at five, Chris Compton at four, uh, Darren Kamnitzer is at zero. So a three-person battle. They are on no machine selected, which means I just haven't updated it. looks it's like they're on gold nine. nine. All right, Mr. Bingham is stepping up for ball two. Nobody really pulling away on this game yet. Not yet. Evan at a bare minimum needs to take second and then have other things work in his favor. But I mean, a win here would advance him outright through. Mm -hmm. Or probably. The flute because version. math. The flute version of Su Su Studio. Yeah. Nothing like a little good music in the background to watch some oh, Johnny yeah. Newmanic play. And some cosplay. All right, relighting his left kickback. And hey, it'll be ready next ball. <laughs> it doesn't hold over though, does it? <laughs> yes, yes it does. Okay, that's yep. good. There's some uh, shuffling going on over there, and people are looking at games, and eh, Josh looks like he has a smile on his face. I think he's uh, reached the yeah. point in this process of acceptance. This tournament is uh, famous for its cost, or not tournament, the show is famous for its cosplay. No. If you look back in years past, there's a <laughs> video of an ant watching a certain player. It was a very intimidating scene. Trying to cough, not in my microphone. Instead, I managed to hit John's hair. And uh, two years ago, PD, during our final qualifying rush, uh, we had Luigi actually try to qualify in our tournament here. Oh yeah, that was a that was a great uh, moment of Papa TV. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, the new IFPA rules will uh, make it a lot harder for Luigi to appear in the standings. But but we appreciate him giving our machines a try. That's a lot of bonus. Unfortunately, Mario actually, uh, you know, took away Luigi's ability to compete in pinball events. So, I guess he was jealous. Something about Super Leagues. 
Nah. Something, something, something. Super League. Dark side. Can we start that rumor that Mushroom World will be in the Papa A Bank? Oh, good lord. Pete. <laughs> Funny story about that game, I'll tell you. Oh. Yeah, let's pretend we're not in a high pressure situation. Tell me the story about it. <laughs> I, I, I'm really curious, actually. Meanwhile, Josh gets a second ball lit. <laughs> Lot. And he got his um, demonic recovery lift. And he's got an angry mob. And uh, he's going to get that kind of taken care of right here. Shoot that right loop. Oh. Boy, that center feedback is tough, isn't it? Lit his third lock, though. He's making a long-distance phone call. Do you realize there's a large percentage of the population that doesn't know what a long-distance phone call is? Does that cost money? Is that covered in my minutes? <laughs> We're being Here we Rick go. rolled. Rick rolled from Adam McKinney over on Atlantis. Adam McKinney rolled. All right. Looks like we're going to see a little multi ball. Left loop, jet lane, hold bonus. Because. No, he did not get the tic-tac-toe, did he? So his no. drag bots aren't tripled. I thought he had a uh, diagonal. The, the balls were in a diagonal, but he may not have claimed that. Oh. That is correct. I wonder if he made a mistake. Yeah, it's possible he forgot where his locks were. Correct. Or somebody blocked his tic-tac-toe by... There's a lot of uh, strategy in that upper uh, tic-tac-toe board. Never even considered that. I'm never gonna run around and hurt you. And hurt you. Thank you, I appreciate that. All right, Josh is grinding here. Looks like he needs right ramp. And he will not have it. Again, another very nice job making it into the finals here for Josh. Representing Missouri. That was a great last ball too. Yeah. yeah. Got some points on the board, and you, even if when you know you're not going to advance, you just hope to finish strong. And well, the other players still need you to play. At least some of them do. You know, some of them want you to do poorly still because you know it helps their situation. But True. or maybe n nobody ever wants you to do poorly. And All right, Chris is done, and that's it. There was almost no more ball save there. He's not feeling that. So Chris is done with six points. Um, <clears throat> Mahesh came into this game at five. He's he will get at least two, so he is good. He's through with seven. Okay. Evan came in with three. So right now Mahesh is walking up, and uh, Evan's, so, Evan's hoping he has a poor ball, and Chris is hoping he blows it up. It would be pretty much the math I would. Um. Yes. Let me check my math. Because science. Correct. That's right. Mahesh is now, uh, now Chris's bus driver. Or co-pilot. Co-pilot. And oh, we're you not said bus. And Evan. And Mahesh. Evan now has a target. Evan needs to get about 220 million points and he will be through. Advancing. That'll be him and Mahesh going through, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, but if he does not, there's not even a tiebreaker. Then Chris would advance directly through. Uh, or am I missing something here? No, I, um, I feel like I am. Yeah. Uh, no, they would have a tiebreaker because that would give uh, Evan two for five. Evan needs to hit uh, crazy bombs here and qualify his lock. That's what he needs to do. I'd, I'd go for the, the... Get the mode first. Yeah, he's got yeah. the mode running. Yeah. It's a pretty good mode, too. Why don't we talk million? about it? One shot will do it. It's okay. Uh, Ball's coming back. Comes around here fast, though. I saw Chris walking away from the game. I thought it was him. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, 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 go back. 
one. That's the shot. That, that should be the winner. That, that was it. That's definitely the winner. I'll take you to Funky Town. Oh, and yeah. is now in Funky Town. 789 to 782. That's official. Evan that's Bingham it. and Mahesh Murthy will be moving on to tomorrow. Wow. Nice job, gentlemen. All right. Who were the other two? Josh and... Uh, Josh Noble and Chris, Chris Basler will be eliminated. Uh, mm. oh, nice job for Evan. <laughs> so can we uh, move over to... Uh, it looks like uh, Goldeneye. That's the... Uh, Negative. We're going to get a little Atlantis coverage. <laughs> we were uh, taking some time last e last night to appreciate the fine art on the playfield of Atlantis. Mm. And uh, you, you don't get one shark. No, no, no. No, not one. Not even two sharks, John. Wait, if you order now. That's right, folks. Don't don't wait. Call now, and just for extra shipping and processing, we'll send you four sharks. Four sharks. Four sharks surrounding a circle. Is it this like a Discovery Channel special or something? It slices. It dices. Makes Julian fries. Well, the way this thing plays, it's a lot more like Sharknado. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Once again, Adam McKinney has four. Jason Werdrick has eight. He's through. Uh... DJ and Timmy both have one, so they need to win and have bad things happen to Adam. <laughs> and here we are at the start of ball three. Adam is in last place with one ball left to go. Interesting. Yeah. I gotta move on. Do we have to? Upcoming circuit events, the Texas Pinball Festival in Frisco, Texas. Woohoo! And IFA Pin Masters in Mesquite, Texas. Woohoo! Also that weekend is the IFA Championships where I believe the man to my right will be representing the great state of Minnesota. That is correct. Congratulations on your win there. Thank, Thank you very much. Congratulations. I got defeated by uh, DJ, the man mm -hmm. playing right now in Pennsylvania who then in turn got defeated by Chris. Pennsylvania had actually one of the strongest strength records of all the state championships. We yeah. were right there with uh, Washington at just under 16 points for first place. Nice nudge. Great nudge. Yeah. All right, you wanna hit that left orbit there. I gotta say there's no easy round in, Pen in, in the Pennsylvania. No. Next. Well, heck, that's a league night. Pennsylvania was almost like a league night. <laughs> I was going to say. <clears throat> and this is uh, why you want to build up your local pinball events. It's like a garden. You want to plant those seeds and watch them grow. Thank you to Nathaniel Gibson for representing the rest of the state of Pennsylvania at the Pennsylvania Finals. Yeah. Like I have room to talk since I went to West Virginia. Yeah, a number of uh, good players uh, left Pennsylvania to go try easier, easier waters. Like Illinois. Like Illinois. Think about that. <laughs> now, that one I don't quite get. I qualified for Illinois. Not going. Qualified out at 1.2 million, which is where he needs to be right now. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, what he needs is some points in the other games. So. Um, so where your gear is up for his ball here. They may have, like, opened up some doors for people removing games or something, but it has gotten really cool in here all of a sudden. The temperature yeah. has dropped by about five or six degrees. Eight hours too late, I might mention. There we go. There's a lock. Sounds like a teaser for season two of Stranger Things. 
<laughs> That's a fun show. Can't wait to see season two coming up. That would make an interesting pinball machine. Wouldn't it? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He almost. Almost. almost How is that even it. a tilt? He, yeah, he, he barely. He got a tilt. But that is sensitive. Yeah, but it, it was a great move. I, I I really wanted to see that one come back into play. Yeah. So now we have two scenarios. Uh, we have Timmy first trying to catch DJ. Correct. And then Adam needing uh, 150000 to catch Jason. Oof. Let's start with the first one. Yeah. Uh, Tim needs to go through his entire targets yeah. to get the locks. Basically starting from scratch here. So if uh, what other ways are there to grind points in this game? Yeah, you know, yeah, and keep sending yeah, it up top. Yeah. It's your uh, green flashing light there. Feed it to the uh, to the hole. I mean, that's ugh, fighting it. So from what I know, there are two it. ways to spot. You know, it's you, you spot it by shooting up where the uh, green multiplier is, or you can also shoot the lower left shot, and then I'll also spot targets uh, towards your multi-ball progress. Very nice. All right, so here's the math. Um, okay. Adam needs to catch. He's waving at us and saying <laughs> hi. We're waving back, though you can't see that. He needs to catch Jason's 299, or DJ and Jason will be moving on. And if he passes that 299, then his next stop is tiebreaker nine, win. whatever that is, 982, wow. 932. What does he need to get a tiebreaker? He needs one David? to get a tiebreaker, two to move on, on his own. Very good. Well, looks like uh, he's qualified his first lock, and that's where he's sitting. Okay. What about that bank of drop targets there? Those four targets, John. Does that uh, does that give you anything? Usually a trip straight down the middle or out <laughs> and out lane. Um, yes, it does. I don't. I'm not really aware of what the awards are for that. But uh, I use it to just slow down my ball from time to time. How many points is that hole up in the middle worth? Like uh, you were punching for Harlem Globetrotters. Is that a 50,000? Uh, it starts, I believe, at 50 and then goes up uh, in values of 25. Oh, my goodness. That was almost. Yeah, it was a tilt. And it was a tilt. Oh, ghost in the shell there, maybe. Oh. And Alrighty. moving on will be DJ and Jason. That was very abrupt. Yes. All right, folks. So uh, we will continue coverage tomorrow morning, and uh, just uh, to give you a look at what things are going to look like tomorrow morning. Uh, the top seed is. Uh, oh, that's Alex. tonight. Uh, yeah, that's what tonight's match. Tonight, tonight, but... It's just. Uh, it's, oh. I'm... Yeah. But let's see if it all. Yeah. Hey, it's it's... As we do, we have. Uh, Group match one tomorrow, Alex Harmon, Andy Rosa, and two people once the results go through. Group two, John Replogle, Zach Sharp, and two of the people moving on from tonight. Group three, Ed Zeltman, Trent Augustine, and two others. And group four, Alexander Kasmarczyk, Steve Bowden, and two other players from tonight. Alexander and Steve Bowden. They wow. had, I heard they had an epic, they've had a couple epic battles uh, they at were the, pinball recently. They were the finalists at the uh, PPO. Um, well, we'd like to thank you guys for tuning in. Um, from all of us here at Papa TV, we'd like to say great, have a great evening, happy flipping, and we'll see you for the broadcast tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night.